I'm an addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. Addict for Snickers. What's good? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new sneaker podcast. Kind of continuing on from yesterday. I have a lot of people that really love these podcasts, so I'm going to keep doing them when I am motivated and I feel like it is a worthy topic. I want to talk about the Yeezy 2 right here. The Red October Yeezy 2. There's a lot of images being posted on Instagram and all types of other social networks. People are getting really thrown off because there's a lot of raffles going on now. People are even posting them, I think, on eBay or just selling them in general in all different kind of marketplaces. And I just want to put this out there because I have so many people that keep asking me about my opinion on this. You need to chill out, man. If you're thinking about copping these right now, you need to chill out. That's my opinion. Yeezy, Kanye West, Big Bro, Jay-Z, Jigga Man himself does not have these. So why the hell do you think all these other people have them? There's so many people posting photos. There's people saying, you know, they're doing raffles, pre-orders, all types of stuff. I'm not saying that all of them are phony balonies and not legit because I just don't think that's fair for me to accuse people that are that I don't know 100% are scamming people. I did do a vlog yesterday talking about people that are scamming people with all these raffles. And I know for a fact that there's people scamming people. And there's definitely people scamming people with this Yeezy situation. I really recommend you putting that into perspective what I'm saying. No celebrities have these shoes yet. So... Think about that before you do all these raffles, before you do a pre-order, before you get taken advantage of. The thing is that a lot of people pretend they're really quote-unquote sneakerheads and they're not really sneakerheads. They don't give a shit about sneakers. They give a shit about making money. So they're out there wearing the mask, you know what I mean? Um, if you ever listen to... This old song by the Fugees, The Mask, where they just talking about people, you know, wearing the mask. They they fugazi, they're fakes. They're not really about that. You know what I mean? They wearing the mask. You know what I mean? And 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 they have another agenda. If you look at a lot of people's timelines, sometimes on Twitter, the ones that really love kicks and really love rocking their their sneakers, they're not sitting selling shoes all day on Instagram and on Twitter. They're talking about kicks. You know what I mean? But they're not. Saying, oh, well, I got this size 9, size 10, 300, um, plus shipping, and da da da. And their whole timeline's flooded with that, you know what I mean? And I'm not knocking people that sell shoes, you know what I mean? I mean, who the hell am I to tell a person what they can and what they can't do? But all I'm saying is that at the end of the day, you gotta really use your head and really see that a lot of people are in this to make money because there's a lot of money to be made with this and there's a lot of scam artists so pay attention to that and I really recommend you just chilling out with all these raffles and all this stuff like that especially with the Yeezy this Yeezy 2 Red October no one got it when the first one came out you seen videos floating up interviews of Rick Ross wearing them to I think Bun B had them then with this Yeezy 2, you would see like Jay-Z rocking them, you know, a few other celebrities rocking them. This one right here, this Red October, it's so new that you haven't really seen any celebrities wearing them. So keep that in mind. Be realistic. Sometimes, you know, you get so into the kick and you're just so like, you know, you're on like cloud nine. You're not thinking straight, some people. And I, I think it has to do with... Like, more or less that you just want the shoe so badly, you're like, hey, well, you know what, I'll do this raffle, you know, I'll throw 5, 10, 15, 20 dollars into a raffle, what do I got to lose, it's 20 dollars, and I understand you may be looking at it like that, but just think how many other people are doing that, and you're contributing to someone that's just going to keep scamming and scamming and scamming people, because if you do the math, even if the raffle ticket is 5 dollars, and they get 100 people doing it, 200 people doing it, it. You're talking some nice bread right there. So keep that in mind. Use your brain. Use your judgment. If you're going to do a raffle and all that, wait till the shoe actually releases. Wait till people like really obtain the shoe. Like I know Kanye West did that giveaway where, you know, some people won a pair of shoes and they contacted them. But I don't even think they're shipping those shoes out for a hot minute. So just use your brain out there and, you know, 
if you're one of those people that may be doing this, that may be having these raffles, that may listen and may catch offense to this because of the fact that you think you may have a legit pair, hey, maybe you do have a legit pair. Don't take any offense to that, but I'm just looking realistic in my point of view. You know, I just can't see how there's so many people that got photos of this shoe, but you know, people like Jay-Z don't even got the shoe on their feet yet. The only thing I could think of is, you know, someone got a connection in the warehouses in like Hong Kong where they're making the shoe and they were able to take a pair or two, which happens all the time. I mean, I definitely know how it goes down. There is a possibility that that can be what it is. But if you want to risk that, then go for it. But at the end of the day, if you're thinking about dishing out money, especially not even a raffle, like fuck a raffle. Think about if you're dishing out like... 2k like even a stack for a pair of these shoes on like ebay or something there's a good chance that they may be fake and do you really want to risk that i mean you know you can just get a replica if you really wanted to you could just get the replica for a lot cheaper it's probably what you're buying right now and i'm not endorsing replicas i'm not saying to go buy the replica by any means i'm saying that Think about it, like, there's a good chance you probably are buying the replica and you're not buying the legit pair. So just be careful out there. If you go to YouTube and you actually search Air Yeezy Red October, because I did, once I seen a lot of photos being spread all over Instagram, I looked at all these reviews because I want to see if there was any legit ones, and all there was was replica versions. And they all looked so good. A lot of them looked really good. There was a few that looked like shit, but there was some that looked really good. The upper was like that different kind of upper. And they looked really, really right. They even glowed in the dark. And to me, I own both of the Yeezy 2's official pairs. I got them both from Nike. They're definitely legit, 100%. They came from Nike store. I know exactly what the Yeezy looks like. I know they changed up the upper toward the back with the scale print. So, you know, I don't know 100% what this new version looks like. But from the images of what Kanye's been wearing, it looks pretty close to the real deal. So, so just be careful out there. I definitely recommend you checking out how sick the replicas are. They look like just like the ones Kanye's wearing. And it's very scary to the point where I'm not messing with copying anything off eBay or anything like that. If, if they eventually release them on like Nike store, I'll go for it. But besides that, I'm good. Like, I'm not even going to think about dropping that extra money on a pair that's probably going to be a replica. Because the replicas look so freaking on point. It's insane. I know probably 50% of the people that are listening to this is probably already have seen some of these videos or is about to check them out. It's mind-blowing how on point they look. So I wanted to make this quick podcast right here and just put this message out there because there's people that keep asking me about it, my thoughts on it. And I also want to put this out there to help my viewers and my fans, my supporters, because I don't want to see people that rock with me getting scammed, you know what I mean? I really appreciate my true, true fans and supporters of this show right here throughout the years. So that's why I like doing these podcasts, to really help people out. Anyone that doesn't like these podcasts, keep in mind, I'm doing this to help people out. If you don't like the podcast, that's cool. If you don't want to listen to me, you'd rather watch me in person doing my reviews. No worries. I'm still going to be doing that. I'm just trying to give people more material. And it makes no sense for me to be standing in front of a camera when I'm not even showing a shoe. And I'm just standing there talking. Might as well just do it this way. It's a lot easier for me. And I could do this a lot quicker. It's a lot less work. And also, real quick, anyone that does rock with the reps and everything, like that please don't take any offense to that i don't judge people if they like reps i don't really judge anyone for what they wear at all ever i mean the only time i judge someone is if they're an asshole so i don't care if you wear reps if you ever see me in person you are a fan of the show you're wearing reps say what's up to me i don't ever judge people for what they wear on their feet that's just such an asshole thing to do and i'm far from an asshole the only way I'm going to judge a person as if they are an asshole. <laughs> so just keep that in mind for anyone that's watching that may be taking this the wrong way. That's into the whole rep scene and all that. I'm, I'm definitely not dissing that whole thing, all right? This is more or less focusing on people that actually want the legit shoe, the authentic shoe. And these scam artists are just trying to push these replicas as legit pairs. That's my focus right there. People that are fans, that are supporters of me, I don't want to see them getting ripped off. So 
know that's the whole focus of it not bashing reps at all because as i said i really don't give a damn whatever makes you happy that's what it's about that's why you're supposed to be wearing these things they make you feel good they make you feel happy when you're wearing a brand new pair of kicks that's why i have so many pairs of kicks i love wearing a fresh brand new pair of kicks it just makes me feel happy man i love it it's the best you know there's nothing like throwing on a clean pair of kicks especially when they fresh out the box you know <laughs> I hope everyone enjoyed this episode. I'll put a link in the description box below to yesterday's podcast that I did on the whole thing with these raffles in general, how a lot of them are scams. I actually wanted to see how these raffles work. I entered three of them. I got scammed out of all three of the raffles, and I just wanted to do a quick investigation on it, and it is what it is. It was a complete scam. Check that out if you're interested in that whole podcast slash story of what happened with that. And make sure to check out my top 23 Air Jordans of all time. So I worked really hard on that video. It took me a long time to make. And I really want to make sure everyone checks that episode. So I'll put a link in the description box below to that. Also, a lot of people have been talking about the music that I've been playing toward the beginning and the end of my videos and whatnot. It's just me having fun. I'm not trying to be the next Jay-Z or Kanye West. Just having fun late night in the studio. You know, I do a lot of behind-the-scenes work with a lot of artists. And sometimes, you know, we just hang out and you know people freestyling or people just goofing around making a last minute track so I've I recorded a couple of songs for fun with some friends of mine nothing serious but if you're interested in any of them joints I'll put a link in the description box to my SoundCloud and it's free you know what I mean no pressure you don't have to download it I'm not trying to be the next superstar I'm just you know just having fun so I just wanted to put that out there though because a lot of people keep asking about that I'm going to be back with a bunch of episodes. Probably won't be a podcast for a hot minute. I just wanted to put this out there because I just have this thought in my mind. And these podcasts will never be scheduled. It's always going to be, you know, when I feel like it's time for me to talk about something. It's not going to be an every week thing. It may happen again in two days if there's a topic I want to talk about. But this is just for me to just put more material out there. A lot of people enjoy these. And some people, as I said, do not. And keep in mind... Just because it's something you don't like doesn't mean that you got to thumbs it down and be negative about it. I'm just trying to put out more material out there and try to help my fans and my followers at the same time. So keep that in mind. Keep that in perspective. Keep it positive in the comment box. Please put your thoughts in the comment box, though. Keep it 100 as always. Make sure you check out my blog, thesneakerratic.com. Also, a bunch of restocks today on a lot of retros. A lot of restocks. If you followed my Twitter, you probably were able to score today on some stuff, man. A lot of heat. They restocked Cool Gray 9s today. They restocked Jordan 4s. They restocked a bunch of stuff today. And I posted it all on my Twitter and on the Sneaker Attic blog, thesneakerattic.com. So if you go to the blog on a regular basis, you know, or you're following me on Twitter, you were probably able to score today. Let me know if you were able to score anything. Let me know if I was able to help you out because I do that blog to help people out too. And that's that's it for today. I don't want this thing to get too long. I'm looking at the time right now. I'm like, well, I'm over 10 minutes. So let's end this right here. You know how we do. I'll be back. Rilla, Rilla. DJ Dell, you know I love you. I can do it all and anything I want to. Got a dream, go for it. Just do it like Nike. No fear, wheelie on the Kawasaki. Crack your jaw like the white dude playing hockey. Dell's a winner like Rocky. Two arms up, champion, can't stop me. Wave game, be the team, New York, be the city. We the best, you we pity, see us shining like Diddy.